Good afternoon, everybody. I'm here to provide a positive update. What is going to be happening um, during the summer of this month of June, July, and August uh, about rescheduling my plans and also what's going to be happening after the summer holidays in the fall of September, October, uh, next fall of September, next October, next November, and next December and also this upcoming year 2021. So I'm going to tell you about it right now. My mom and I were planning on going for a picnic by the Jurassic Park outside of Edmonton this summer um, because I am still temporarily off work for the next little while. So I'm still uh, doing that and doing what I what's best right now, riding my bike every day and spending most of the time at home, working less this summer. So as uh, this summer is very different this year than the previous years, this um, July and August, all summer festivals are canceled till next summer. So I am going to be making a lot of changes, so rescheduling my Calgary trip to this July 2021 coming up in uh, 13 months from now, uh, in a year, one month you might say, and also um, rearranging my school schedule so that way I can go back at the end of the summer in September, this next fall coming up in four months, so once uh, summer holidays is over, and also once the, um, so not only I'll be going back at the end of the summer, but I'll be going back after next, um, after next Christmas time in January 2021 also, in um, seven, uh, eight months from now, so that's not that far. Aside from all this, um, I am still going to plan my Hamilton trip in September, but if it's delayed I, again in September if there's a second wave of COVID-19. That might be postponed to 2021. So I also really want to say is that I've already talked um, to my friends on the phone about uh, rearranging my birthday party get together at Kelly's Pub to uh, this upcoming May of 2021 in um, 10 months from this summer in July coming up. So the thing is, I'm still going to be calling my friends um, Jessica, Josh, and Evan to let them know that we're going to be postponing my birthday party get-together at Kelly's Pub that we had originally rescheduled over the summer. We're going to be moving it to next May, so that's going to be a lot of changes. And I also really want to say... Um, once we're out of the quarantine coronavirus COVID-19 situation, I'm going to, I just want to tell you is, I just looked up the um, Otis Traction Elevators at the Scout and Rogers Center, Otis Elevator 9439 uh, YouTube chat vlogger um, filmed the Otis Passenger Elevators between 100 Bremner Boulevard Street entrance and 300 Front Street entrance of the Scout and Rogers Center that is very close to Union Station in Toronto. I want to tell you, as I'm, my mom said, I'm perfectly welcome to film the passenger elevators once the COVID-19 situation's over. And once the quarantine COVID-19, and, and aside from all this too, I, I know I miss doing Mickey Mouse voice impressions uh, on the buses, but right now is still not really a time to do that. But once everything's back to normal again, I'll be able to once more and and this next time around I'm going to be 100% very careful when's the time to do Mickey Mouse voice impressions and a time not to but anyway please do respect my excellent opinion and my kind words I'm saying as of right now likewise my mom said I can still go on the subway at Union Station in Toronto so that's still a very rewarding privilege. So since I have my 
my mom, my Auntie Paula, my grandmother's trust, including my Auntie Jocelyn, Uncle John, my cousins Olivia, Daria's trust, but also my very good friends and my grandparents um, who know me and our mutual friends, Kayla, Ray, and Steve, and they know I'm still very responsible what I do. So anyway, if I really want to say is that I do look forward to going back to school at Nate at the end of the summer in the fall and this next fall, this next September, October, next November, December, and next January before and after the winter holidays once the COVID-19 situation is over. So since eight, nine months ago this October and seven months ago this past December of 2019 and six months ago this January, I have been doing very well in my Adobe classes at school at Nate. Also, I do look forward to going to Soundwave at World Water Park on Saturday night, October 3rd, this next fall in October, coming up again. So since that had to be postponed in April, and I still have my Soundwave VIP ticket in my filing cabinet in, in my closet in my room, that is going to be in excellent condition. So I'll be holding on to it over the summer. And next summer, I look forward to going to Calgary again because I loved the Calgary Stampede so much. I've been attending since um, July of 2017. So, anyway, feel free to comment below and and please feel free to watch my bus trip videos, elevator videos, my subway videos, go train videos, go bus video that I have posted on YouTube uh, two years ago. And also, feel free to check out my favorite Calgary transit bus trips I filmed um, in Calgary last July. So, YouTubers, I really want to say, I recommend some very excellent places in the downtown Toronto that I have been to with my Auntie Paul and my mom in the past. So. Ossington Station is my is our Bloor Danforth line and it's also our subway station on the TTC. You can visit Dufferin Station on the Bloor Danforth line, as my mom said, but as long as you quickly get back on the subway, Brian. So be very careful what you do. So my mom said I can definitely do that as long as I'm staying within the transit area. No rough areas, period. But also I really want to say this summer, I'm going to make the best out of this bad situation, reschedule my plans, plan my Calgary trip to for this July 2021 coming up next year in 13 months from this June of this year. So there's going to be a lot of time between this summer and this next fall and winter to very carefully rearrange our my plans and my Hamilton Toronto trip, my schooling, Soundwave, rave events, and also my course schedule to stay that I've been very good at staying on top of my course. So I really want to say is that I can't wait to go on the subway and the streetcar in Toronto on my Hamilton Toronto trip once the COVID-19 quarantine situation's over. And I do look forward to taking our HSR buses visiting our old places where my mom and I used to take our bus trips in Hamilton in the, in the past and also rearranging with our mutual friends Kayla and Ray at ahead of time. So YouTubers, thank you for this positive news update. Tuesday afternoon, June 9th, 2020. Ho ho and have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. See you real soon. Have a great day, folks. See you later.